presentation is, is entitled New Technology and Concepts in Hemodialysis Access. We will start with Dr. John Ross, who will talk about the uh, Gore hybrid graft. John. Thanks. A lot of times procedures are really born out of a sense of a frustration, and uh, this is exactly how this device came along many years ago where we were using a composite model of using a stent graft and a graft. Uh, I guess I fit into that category that we've been talking about. Uh, so we're talking a new technique with a new device. I'm talking a sutureless anastomosis, and uh, this is exactly what the anastomosis is going to look like. It's done sutureously, and it is going to be done percutaneously. And this is what the device looks like. It's a PTFE graph with a nitinol stent graph on the end. Back in the old days, back in 03, we were doing a combination of stent graft, graft. And the th questions we asked, does it leak, when to use it, what's the technique, and what are the outcomes? That's the same thing we're going to be looking at with the hybrid graft that uh, has come about. Now, here's the frustrating patient. The patient's had multiple uh, axillary explorations. You make an incision, you've got a two-millimeter vein. You're always looking for the adequate outflow vein. So we put a six French introducer in. Where is the vein? Well, we find central stenosis that was probably hemodynamically significant. But look how far up we are from where we placed the six French introducer. Well, we can go up into the axilla. We've all been up there many times. But maybe we can reach up there with a stent graft. We're a little bit concerned about this particular patient getting a, a ischemic hand, so this is an upper arm loop graft that we're putting in with a combination of stent grafts. So when the stent graft is deployed, it's in the adequate outflow vein, and down here where the six French introducer was initially, a little bit beyond this, three to four centimeters, is a sutureless anastomosis, and then in the intermediary part here, that has to be angioplastied to completely deploy the stent graft, and here's your sutureless anastomosis. You can see graft. Stent graft, in graft, stent graft. It does not leak. Hybrid case, a revision of a pseudoaneurysm. We have impending rupture of aneurysms here, and there's actually a stent graft in the outflow. So here's what happens. We always do our angiograms first. We find out where the adequate outflow vein that we can reach the outflow vein, because we only have five centimeters of stent graft on the end of this graft to work with. You can see where an old stent graft was. So the idea here is to put the stent graft into a stent graft to do a sutureless anastomosis. So this is going to go inside that previous old stent. A guide wire is placed. We're going to poke the stent graft over the guide wire into the other stent. So what you really have, outflow vein, reinforced nitinol segment, and you conduit. It makes it, this is a very simple procedure. Revision of a pseudo 